to, well, what seems like finally back to league action, Tommy, obviously back in the league, Kidderminster away, what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, we're really looking forward to getting back to the league programme. We haven't played uh, a game in the, in the league since 1st of January and uh, it does seem a long time ago. So whilst the last couple of results aren't what we wanted in terms of the results, um, Obviously, the FA Cup was a great journey, but it's behind us. The FA Trophy wasn't such a great journey. We got through one round, but, you know, capitulated. We have to hold our hands up on the day. We weren't good enough, but it's gone. You know, the same as what if we if we win a game like we did, we've won many games this season, we move on as quickly as we can. It's been really good. The weather's been difficult this week. It's been re particularly cold on the, early in the mornings when we've got to the training ground, but the players have applied themselves great. Um, and, yeah, we're looking forward to the game. So definitely no hangover from the result on Saturday then? Well, hopefully not. You know, every time we've had a, a poor performance, rather than we've had results that we don't want, obviously. But you know, I don't think anybody in in the same mind had a real high hope of was winning the game at West Brom. But we didn't disgrace ourselves despite the score. Um, on last Saturday was something I don't want to be a, a part of. The players don't want to repeat that. So you know, we try and move on. It's not forgetting it. We we try to put right the things. But there's no one person or two, three people solely responsible for that it's a, it's a team effort we win together we lose together we move on together and uh, like I said the effort that the lads have put in this week in the training the training that we've offered them has been excellent so on the way again up the M40 looking back at when Kidderminster came to our place earlier in the season it was a close game one yeah. win but you know we, we got that win so we know that we can beat them They've had a lot of games this season where they've only lost by the odd goal. So, you know, I've looked at their, their stats. They haven't been prolific scorers, but they haven't conceded a massive amount of goals either. Um, there's obviously been a change of management there in the last couple of weeks. Obviously, Phil going in there is a very knowledgeable bloke. You know, he knows he knows football inside out. He's been in the game longer than I have. That's only because he's a little bit older than me. Like, But I know it. But I know Phil well, and I spoke to him on Saturday before the FA Trophy game, um, just to wish him well. Um, it would be nice to, to see him because, I, like I said, I know him from... from previous work and stuff but on the day the gloves are off you know we want to win they want to win for different reasons um but yeah i'm really positive you know i, I think we've had a really good first half of the season we've got 20 league games uh, or 20 games left minimum um we'd like to add to that if we can and the only way we can do that is by replicating what we did prior to christmas does that pose a few challenges when a new manager comes in because i know you guys do your due diligence you like to watch the teams but i guess when a new manager does come in, it, it might mean that it, that might not be the same kind of side that you see on Saturday. There's always a bounce, at the, you know, at the end of the day, or the nine times out of ten, there's a bounce. And I'm sure Phil, who's got a, a personality and a persona, and Neil McDonald, the guy he's brought in with him in terms of coaching, they're very experienced, they'll know exactly what they want. And in time, I'm sure they'll have a, a, a footprint for themselves. But at the moment, it's about rub, you know, getting the guys who are in the building together, uh, and they've got to get themselves out of a position that they found themselves in now. So that's that's nothing to do with us. We just turn up, play our game and get out, and hopefully we can come back with some points. In the yellow kit, of course. And the last time we played in the yellow kit was, was a good victory against Woking. And obviously that was our last league game as well. So is it all about you know tapping into what we did on that day? Um, partly. I mean, at the end of the day, we managed to score more goals than the opposition on that day. But it, um, we as a team know what we want to do. We know the way we want to play. But we obviously got to respect every opposition we play, whether it whether it's our neighbours or whether it's um, Kidderminster Harriers. We, you know, as as for the kit, I mean, I don't, I'm not aware of that. There's an issue with any of the kits as long as it's got our badge there. Um, we're playing. We'll be given what we've got to make sure we bring points home.